All right, what's up guys? So just hammering this stuff down uh, just like we were last video, um, you know, trying to get some things done. I want to get some grout as well. Um, that way I can uh, start building the next set of the smeltery. So I'm just going to split this in and we're going to do some gravel instead so we can try to get some diamonds. Um, but we want to keep on with the smeltery, get some diamonds, hopefully upgrade our meshes, upgrade our generator, things like that. Um, so trying to keep on progressing towards a uh, little bit more automation, a little bit more progress for you. Um, so more sieving in this video. Um, pretty straightforward. I mean, uh, if, if you've played this at all, this is kind of what you do to start out. So you can get your resources all generated out, everything like that. Um, I still haven't done a stream yet. Um, I'm thinking about maybe getting into the streaming game as well. Uh, if I Let me know down in the comments if you want to see me do a live stream, and if so, what games you want me to play. I mean, I personally love Civilization V, I've got Grand Theft Auto V, uh, Minecraft obviously, Battlefront 2, things like that. Um, so let me know if you want to stream, and if you do want to stream, what games you want me to play on said stream, and uh, we can kind of go from there. I'm just going to go ahead and compress these down, that way my uh, chest isn't as full, because we've got so much resources from just sieving that uh, I'm running it out of, out of room in my chest. So get some more iron here, more than a stack, I mean, uh, you get so much iron, it's insane. Get some nickel. I will help compress some lead. Oh yeah, look at all these resource gains. So good. Like, oof. Oof. nothing gets me more excited than than resources. Like, oh, Minecraft, so great. <laughs> but here we go, compressing all of this stuff down. Some platinum. I mean, normally that's pretty hard to get. Uh, so that is the one cool thing about sieves is um, you do get like an ass load of resources and sometimes you get the rare stuff as well even though it maybe is difficult to get when you're playing just regular modded minecraft uh sometimes the sieves make it a little bit easier so it is fun uh kind of to see what you get i've got one diamond two emeralds so that's exciting um hopefully we get some more so we can keep on upgrading uh, we need eight diamonds to upgrade the cobble gen. We need six for each mesh, so we're going to need a lot of diamonds. Um, so basically, that means more hammering, more sieving, and everything like that. I'm just taking these stacks and splitting them across so we can make all this compressed cobblestone. Um, I'm sure you guys have been raging that I'm not utilizing any tweaks the right way, so there, there you go. That's using it the right way. <laughs> but yeah, so just gonna keep on going. I think I'm gonna sift some more gravel, get some more diamonds, um, just because we've got a decent amount of redstone now, and I feel like diamonds are gonna be more of a problem for us than than redstone to start off with. So I'm gonna kind of just stick with, with gravel here, I think. At least in the short term, we'll probably have to switch it up a little bit, but here we go. We're gonna make this into sand and hopefully get some grout. That's why I split the stack. So there we go. Okay. So 14 blocks of gravel. We'll get 14 blocks of sand. And each of those is times nine. So this is like almost two stacks of each. Pretty good. Then we also need clay, which I've got six of. And let's make some grout. So grout's pretty easy. It's four blocks of sand, four blocks of gravel around a block of clay. And that will make your grout. Um, it's better to do it this way. You get more out of your clay as opposed to doing it with the blobs. So I always use the blocks. There's another quest for grout. Just going to split this a little bit and we're going to start smelting this into seared bricks. What's going on? Why is that not smelting? What the hell? Why won't you smelt? Let's get some lava, I guess. We're going to need it for the uh, smeltery anyway, once it gets up, but I don't really know why it's not smelting. Um, seems a little strange, but let's get some more saplings. We're going to need some water to make more clay, and we're going to need some dust, so we're going to grow some trees. Yeah, buddy. Yeah, buddy. Here we go. All right, yeah. 
crouching down, using that crook. So back to base six again, getting some some leaves, gonna crook them, drop these trees, get everything done. Ugh, such a ball ache, but it needs to be done. Um, I'm sure you can automate this uh, some way or another, but I just can't be bothered. So I'm gonna do it by hand. Once we get the smeltery up, I don't really foresee us needing all that much more water. Um, I mean, I guess building a farm, stuff like that, but uh, I hate farming in this game. It just, it's not what I enjoy doing. I like the machine side of it, so I don't foresee me doing the farming aspect of it until later. Um, maybe I'll do some mystical agriculture early on, but even that, um, it's very grindy because you have to get all the seeds and the essence and uh, it's it's just like everything else in this mod pack. Grind your life away and then maybe you'll get some progress, some gains. But we are making decent headway on this. I mean, we've almost finished alpha on the quest and we've got our cobble gen up. We've got our sieves upgraded to iron meshes, so that's good. We can at least get all of the drops now. Um, not necessarily the highest drop chance on the rare ones, but, you know, it's a start. Um, we do need more diamonds in order to get the meshes done, but uh, I want to make this smeltery because then I can double all this ore that I'm gathering, um, and I can make alloys, I can get better tools, and like it, it's the next logical step is to get a smeltery built up so I can continue on with tinkers, get better tools, and then also increase my ore output so when I do start building machines and start automating, I don't have to sieve quite as much in order to uh, gather the resources to build the machines, right? So that's what we're doing, you know, need to get these saplings to make water, to make clay, and everything like that. So as we keep going, um, we should be, should be making some headway. Finished off that stone axe, got some saplings, we've got more than a stack, we'll just set one down just to be safe. We'll put away those 12 extra, and yeah, empty this all out, I guess. Let's take a bucket, and we can make... Ugh, the lava is so slow. So slow. But we'll take these two buckets, and then let's make some more clay, I guess, is what we're going to need. So I'm going to take some of this sand and hammer it. So let's just condense all this and we're gonna take half, uh, gonna compress the gravel like so. And we're gonna do the same with the sand and that way we can get some more dust to make into clay. Okay, so three sand, three gravel, and then 11 of each of the compressed. So let's do this. I want to keep at least six of those for gravel. So how much clay do I want? Like, it's just four, five, six, seven, eight. Yeah, we'll just make all this into dust. Why not? It's fine. And then we'll just split the gravel into more sand. It'll be easier. Um, so three sand, we'll just do that into dust as well. That way we've got plenty of dust, so we can make plenty of clay. I mean, this is going to make a lot of clay, more than a stack of clay blocks if we do all of it. But if we split this in half, we can go ahead and make our sand to gravel ratio equal. So when we're making our grout, it's the same. Yeah, I know that was a fail on the vein miner, but eh, it's fine. This iron hammer is so much faster than this stone one as well, so like, it, it, I'm glad that I upgraded. Um, so 51 sand and we'll have 51 gravel. So that should be enough to make a fair amount of seared bricks, like it's 13 times 8, so decent, or I guess it's 12, whatever, but we've got plenty of dust, um, we'll probably end up saving a lot of this too, but let's go ahead and make some more water, still waiting on the lava that has to smelt down, but I think I figured out that in order to get the seared bricks, you actually...